Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to add custom classes to various parts of your WordPress website, such as the body tag, menu links, and widgets. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Let's start by adding a body class by using a plugin. So we will navigate to our WordPress dashboard. Plugins add new. And let's search for custom body class. You will need to install and activate this custom body class plugin. And after you did so, go to pages into the edit screen of the page that you would like to add the class to. So let's work with this contact us page. I will click on edit. And here at the bottom right corner, I can see a new option added up, pages classes. And here I can type in any class that I want. For example, custom body class. If you need multiple classes, just separate them with a space. Then just update the page and inspect the element to make sure the class was added. So let's inspect this page and go to the body tag all the way here at the top and we can see the class over here. So it was added successfully, that's great. Now I would like to show you how to add a class without using the plugin. So you can see that it's not active and we can add a class by going to the team editor into the opening body tag and the opening body tag are mostly, most of the time, they are in the header.php file of your theme. Just make sure, guys, you're working with a child theme so you won't lose these changes in the next update. And here in the opening body class, we can see the body class function. And inside this bracket, you're just adding your desired class in, in a quote, just like so. So custom class.1, update the file, and you can revisit any page on your website to see the new class that was added to the body tag. We'll inspect this page and we can see over here our custom body class. If you need to add multiple classes, just delete the class over there and type in array, open the brackets and separate each of the class with a comma, just like so, and enter the custom class inside quotes. If you don't want to type it yourself because you are scared to make mistakes or something, I have the link to the written blog post in the description down below. Just visit this blog post. You will have all the functions that you need and all the codes over here. So you can just copy it from there and paste it in your files. After refreshing the page, we can see that both classes were added successfully. We can also use a function to conditionally add classes to different pages of our website. To use a function, we'll go to our functions.php file. Hopefully, it, you're working with your child team, you should. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and here we will paste the function that we can copy from our written blog post under the conditionally add a body class to a page template or to a page ID. You have the function over here. Let's just copy it. Excellent. And we can see that in this function, we will add the classes only to those pages with the ID of 8 and 10. In our example, it's the About Us page and the Contact Us page. You will need to change the ID of 8 and 10 to your desired ID. Okay, You will need to find out what's your page ID number. I already made a video on how to find the page ID number. You can find the link in the description down below. And after refreshing the page, we'll first of all go to page ID 8, which is the About Us in our case. And we can see our example class added successfully. Now I would like to show you how to add a class to a menu link. So for example, I would like to add a class to this About Us link in the menu. We don't need any plugin or function. WordPress by default has the option to do that. We just need to enable it. So under the menu screen, just make sure the CSS classes is active, just like that. And here, expand the link that you would like to add a class to. And you can see this box over here. Just type in the class that you would like to add. Save your menu, refresh the page, and inspect the element. You will see that the new class 
was added successfully. You can see it over here at the beginning. Now let's add a class to a widget. To do that, we'll need to install a plugin and then we'll be able to add a class to this recent post widget. So let's go back to our WordPress website to the back end into plugins and add new. Here we're going to look for widget CSS classes. We'll install and activate this plugin over here. I already have it installed and active. And we'll go to our widgets. Here we will expand the widget. And we can see that there is a new option for us to add a CSS class. We will add it over there. We'll revisit our website, inspect the widget, and hopefully the new class was added successfully. And we can see that it did. You can see it over here. Excellent, guys. So hopefully you learn how to add classes to various parts of your WordPress website. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment box down below. Please also like and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video.